Hope you all are fine and safe. Students, today we are going to start our new unit that is unit 6, Solid, Liquid and Gases. Let's begin. Learning Objective After this lesson, students will be able to understand matter is made up of particles, there are three states of matter and the general characteristics of solids, liquids and gases. Dear students, let's start over today's topic with a question. What is matter? Yes, everything around us is matter. The book that we read, air we breathe and water we drink. Everything is matter. Look at the picture of this room. Yes, it's a living room and it's completely furnished with different kind of furniture. If you noticed, everything in this room has different size, shape and obviously different weight too. If you want to stand at the place where sofa is, it's not possible. For this, you have to shift the sofa, then you will be able to stand over there. Why? Because everything in this room is occupy some space and has some weight yes this is the exact definition of matter also everything in the world that has mass and occupies a space is matter what is matter students Atoms and compounds are all made of very small parts of matter. Those atoms go on to build the things you see and touch every day. They all are matter. Or we can say matter is defined as anything that has mass and takes up space or it has volume. Things which are matter. They can be classified as living things and non-living things. In living things, they can be animals, plants, people. And non-living things, they can be man-made or natural. For example, car or rocks. Dear students, sometimes we confused between things that what are matter and what is not. So things which are not matter, for example, they do not have a mass or volume. What are some examples? Let's see. Light and heat, sound, rainbow, reflection, memory, your intelligence, anger, dedication, love, hard work or speed. These things are not matter. Dear students, matter is found in three states or forms. These states are solid, liquid and gas. So, everything in the world either a solid, a liquid or a gas. May question arise in your mind. Is air matter? Really? Let's investigate through an experiment. Air is a matter. It has mass and occupies space. Let's have two balloons, red and blue, of equal sizes, having the same amount of air. Atoms are tied to both ends of the beam balance. If blue balloon is deflated, then the side of beam balance with red balloon weighs down. Conclusion of the experiment The red balloon containing air atoms in it have more mass than blue balloon. Thus, it proves air has mass. The space occupied by the deflated blue balloon is less than the red balloon. Thus, it proves air occupies space. Students, you can perform this experiment at your home also. You can use one meter on scale and two balloons. And you can tie two balloons at the both ends. Then, you remove air from the one balloon. And you can see that which balloon has air, it will go down. Dear students, let's discuss some general characteristics of matter. Every matter has mass. What is mass? 
mass is the amount of matter present in the body. Every matter is affected by gravity. Every matter occupies some space. A space occupied by matter is called its volume. Dear students, let me tell you one interesting fact about matter. Matter cannot be destroyed nor created. It can just change its shape or position. As you can see, this burning paper. This burning paper will change into ashes. Only change its shape. Next is inertia. Yes, every matter has inertia. What is inertia? Inertia is the tendency of a substance to continue its state until unless an external force will come and act upon it. As you can see the example of this toy car. It will continue its state whether it is in the resting position until unless someone will push it and applying force then it will move. In a solid the particles are packed closely together as you can see in this structure. The particles are attracted to each other. The force of attraction is very great because the particles are very close to each other. That is why they cannot move freely. Particles in solids vibrate in their place. This is what gives solids their shape. That is why the shape of a solid is definite and volume is also fixed. Let's have an example of this crowded classroom students. As you can see there are so many students. Suppose if their teacher will ask them to run inside this classroom or they can play for a while, what do you think? They will able to enjoy or they can move freely inside this room? No. Because this room is very crowded and they don't have enough space. Exactly like that, solids are made up of particles that are so tightly packed together that they cannot move freely. That is why solids have fixed shape and volume. Here we have some examples of solids. For example, ice, cheese, bricks, wood, watch, diamond and glass. Let's see how liquids are different from solids. The particles in a liquid are not packed together closely. The force of attraction between these particles are not very strong. Liquid can be poured into any shape of container. They have a definite volume but do not have a fixed shape. As you can see, there are a variety of containers and this liquid changes its shapes according to every container. But they have definite volume. Let's move on. So here we have some examples of liquids like juice, water, oil, milk, soft drinks and vinegar. Let's study the main characters of gases. Yes, the third state of matter. The particles of gases are not packed closely together. Why? Because the forces holding the particles together are very weak. They bounce off each other and shoot off in all directions. A gas do not have fixed shape and a volume. Let's have an example of these children playing in a playground. As you can see, they are free to move in all direction. Exactly like the particles in gases. Because they are having very less force of attraction with each other and they can move freely in all directions. Here we have some examples of gases like steam, smoke, oxygen, carbon dioxide, tear gas, helium. As you know students, there are three states of matter. Yes, solid, liquids and gases. Let's see what are their properties. Number one, solid. Very difficult to squash and it can't be poured. 
or solids has a definite shape. Why? As you can see here in the molecular diagram, the molecules are packed tightly together and are arranged in molecular patterns. The molecules vibrate in a fixed position. That is why they are having definite shape and volume. Number two, liquid. Difficult to squash, but they can be poured. Why? Because molecules are farther apart and are not in any particular pattern or order. As you can see here, the molecules move and slide over each other. That is why liquid can be poured and can take a shape of any container. Third is gas. Easy to squash can be poured. As you can see here, a gas has no definite shape. Why? Because molecules are far apart. That is why all molecules move about freely. That is why gas has no definite shape and no definite volume. Understanding more about matter. Solid, liquid, gas. Matter. Solid, liquid, gas. liquid and gas are matter and characteristics of matter. What do I mean by this? When a ball bounces, let's check its color, its size, shape and texture, its hardness and then we come to know that it's matter. Now let's check this. Color is white, size is small, shape is round, texture is sticky, hardness is soft, so it's also matter. It's a ruler. Yellow color, shape, texture is smooth and hardness is hard. It's also matter. Color, smell, texture don't have their own shape. Take the shape of the container. So it's also included in matter. Colors purple, pink or baby blue. Smell. Texture is sticky. Don't have their own shape. The shape of the container and it's all matter. On the beach, the bucket is hard, and let's check the bucket's texture, its shape, and what's water. For gas, no definite shape. Take shape of the container. Just like when we blow the air in the balloon. The air doesn't have the shape. But when it goes inside the balloon, so it takes the shape of the balloon. i 
Color Shade, Extra Modery, and Hard Earth Gumlet. Color Red, Smell Sweet, Texture Thick, and Oxid. No color, no taste, no texture. Inhales or exhales. This is a form of matter. Let's do the activity of solid, liquid, and gas, the states of matter. Invert shape is a solid, invert shape is a liquid, and invert shape is the gas. Identify the following. Don't forget to subscribe. And thanks for watching.